Hey you guys, so I just want to start off this video by saying thank you so much for all of your sweet comments on my last video. I got pretty open and a little personal in that video, more so than I think I have been in most of my videos, and I really appreciated your response. I got so many amazing messages from people saying like, oh, you seem so much happier now, and like, I'm so glad you took a break and you're back, and I've missed seeing your face, and I, I just appreciated that a lot, and it definitely made me feel a lot better about my decision to come back and start filming again, and reading, and doing all that stuff. I haven't quite finished reading a book yet, but I thought I'd update you on what I was currently reading and also give you a movie review all in one video, trying to branch out and do new things and film random stuff. I don't know. We're just gonna go with it. So I recently started reading Clockwork Prince by Cassandra Clare. I read Clockwork Angel in middle school, which we all know was a bazillion years ago because I'm about to be a sophomore in college, so I figured it was time to finish the series. I loved the first book, like adored it. It was one of my favorite books. I'm really liking it if you guys don't know what this is about. It's still in the Shadowhunter world from the Mortal Instruments. I haven't read the last book of the Mortal Instruments yet because I was waiting to read this series first because apparently in the last book of the Mortal Instruments there's some spoilers for this trilogy, so I want to finish this trilogy before I get to that one. Next, I'm just gonna give you a really brief movie review. I saw Dunkirk recently and I loved it. I was such a huge fan. So Dunkirk is set around about 400,000 soldiers who are stuck on the beaches of Dunkirk. They are British and French soldiers and they're being surrounded by the other side, which was Germany. They can see England across the ocean, like it's close by, like they can almost see it. They, only, they have these lines all the time, like it's right there, but they can't get to it. Every time a boat tries to leave, it gets sunken either by torpedoes, uh, planes bombing them, and I mean even when they're on the beaches, like they try to get out another way, they're still getting bombed all the time and it's hopeless for all of them. What I love about this movie is that they didn't try to make this insane plot. They didn't try to glorify war, they didn't try to glorify any one particular person. No one was a hero in this movie necessarily. Not that no one was noble, that's not what I'm trying to say. It was really real and it, I feel like it was a really real depiction of war. I. I feel a lot during war movies, so if you're not into those and you don't generally feel a lot during those kinds of movies, I don't know how much you would enjoy this, but I I tend to get really emotional because I just think that these were just young kids who wanted to go home and wanted didn't really want to be there and had to go through and see so many traumatizing and horrible things and live through these horrific conditions to fight for what was right. And not gonna lie, it was a lot. It was a very visceral experience watching the movie. Um, I would get chills and like physical reactions more than any crying or anything. It didn't try to be too gory. It didn't try to be too much, it just showed you war and it showed you the horrible things that can happen and how young these kids were and how scared they were and how how much they were willing to do to get out of there and it was just, oh, it was heartbreaking and I honestly recommend this movie to everyone. There's not a lot of dialogue. Um, I was surprised to see Harry Styles was in it. I did not think he, I did not know he was in this movie. I feel like everyone else knew but me. but. I just think that it was a really, really real depiction of war. Um, I think it deserves all the praise that it's gotten. It was amazing and I highly recommend that you all go see it. There's no particular main character. There's a few characters that you know better than other ones, but for some of them, like, you don't even necessarily know their names. Um, it follows, like, groups of people, and it was just really heartbreaking. It does switch between past and present kind of like it just flips between nighttime and daytime at different times and you kind of it's not a linear storyline sometimes like you'll see that something happened all these people are swimming and then you see why what happened to their boat what happened to them why are they in this situation so it's not 100% linear which confused me in the beginning but then I got more used to it so I really liked that I highly recommend you go see this movie in theaters and then see it again later it is a lot it's a very emotional experience um, I know that 
there could be some triggers for you but I would look I would do some research on it before seeing it if you think you could be triggered by this kind of thing um, but yeah those are my thoughts on that movie I hope you enjoyed this video if so give it a thumbs up and comment down below I'm gonna be linking all my Instagram Facebook Twitter you know all my social media down below so you can go follow that and check out what I'm up to and I will see you guys in my next video bye